Adjusterpedia.com. Hey guys, it's Mark from Adjusterpedia.com. Today I'm going to be showing a few ways to dramatically speed up your sketching in Xactimate. I'll be using a couple of lesser known techniques that can be used in both interior and on rough sketches. Let's get started in the interior. And what we want to do here is I'm going to show you how to take advantage of these underlays, basically the images that you put under it. Now, in order to make this really effective, you're going to have to have floor plans of some sort, whether it's your own that are made to scale, or if you can get the plans from somebody, which is a lot of times possible, then you basically take that, make sure you get into an image format, and then we'll be able to import it into the system. So what we can do is from the Options tab, we come into Import, and we'll import underlay image. And you can see right here, I've got this floor plan here from what I've done. And then the awesome part here is all we have to do is scale it. So you see I've got some measurements here. And I don't even have all the measurements. I just needed some of them on this to know for sure. So from here to here is 9 foot. So I'll just click, not hold and click, but just click and then click again. There we go. And we're going to put that in as 9 feet because that's what it said it was. There we go. So now we hit OK. And now this is to scale, so if I was to drop a room in here, let's say over here because this one's nearly 12, yeah, it's 12 foot by probably 12, let's see here, we'll put R for room. I'm just going to take and drop this here, right over that. See it's not quite 12, so what we can do is then just take and drag this out. Till it covers, do the same, drag this out. Nice, there we go. And that one's the first one, I can take this off and on to see if it looks right. Um, now, as we have a few other options here. I'm going to show you a way that I've kind of gotten in the habit of using, and it really speeds up my drawing on some situations. I'll show you on this one. We'll go to the tools here. And then what I'm going to use is this wall tool. And a lot of people will just put a room in a room in a room. But what I like to do sometimes is grab this wall. So it's Shift and W, or you can click that button. And I'll click here, and I'll go to this. I just left clicked, left click again at the corner, bring it on down, left click again. And right over, actually we can come all the way over if we want. Left click again, bring it on up, left click. Now just that quick, I've gotten all the outside edges. So what I can do now is if I want to come through here, oops, I need to shift the W for wall, bring it down, click again. See, there you go. Now before we go any farther, I need to take care of a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, before we start throwing in all of these little walls and these little closets and things, we notice right here we've got a single room that accounts for the kitchenette and the living room. And we could leave that that way if we really wanted to. Let's say that the ceiling is continuous, which it is, and we needed to paint it all or something. That would be the case. But maybe there's just, you know, linoleum in the kitchen and we don't want to have to factor the entire room uh, of the living room and those both. So what I like to do is make it a little cleaner. And what we'll do is we'll make this into two rooms. And that's super simple in this case, assuming we want it to be right here. If we have a reason not to do it, we can make it specific. Let's say that we knew that the linoleum came off of here and it made a, a turn like that. We can do whatever we want. But not knowing right now, we'll just assume it goes across here. I hit the wall tool. I just come straight across. Click again. There we go. Now we have two rooms. I come in here in the middle, delete that wall. So I just highlight the wall, hit the delete key. Now we've got that. Now this and we can label them if we wanted. This one's the living room. Living room go. This was the kitchen, the bedroom, and the bath. So let's see, everything looks pretty good there. What we can do is come down here and do this uh, outline off and on. It kind of gives us a, a real good idea what we need. So we can see here we're going to need a door. So what we could do, it's really not, you'll see, yeah, just hit the D for the door key. Do that. And we need another door right up here. So we'll go D for door. There we go. There's not a, we haven't built this closet yet, so that door's not ready to be put in. Let's do a couple, okay, yeah. Let's do one, a couple more things. I'm gonna change this to bedroom. Bedroom. I'm gonna show basically how to move these labels, just in case you don't know. If you highlight the room, in this case the bedroom, you see that the diamond is there, the red diamond. If you hover that red diamond, hit the space bar, label lights up green. Now you can grab it by the handle and move it wherever you want, so we can put it right over the other one, whatever we want, just to make things exactly how we want them. That's good. And I've got another video on that. I'll put a card up in the right corner up here and 
Yeah, if you want to take a look at that to get a little more information on how to move those labels and twist them around and whatever. Let's see what else we've got. Um, let's go ahead and put these closets in now. So what I'm going to do is going to go Shift and W, click here, left click, left click, left click. You can see it makes itself a room. We'll do it again. Shift W, come across here, come across here, come across there. And you can see what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm not going to make these little nubs. I'm going to first put the whole the whole room in so it makes the room and that way when I come back in and put the missing wall in in this case instead of doing it the other way it'll have exactly what we need so now the missing wall is there so we'll do again a missing wall here oh, that one's a door we don't want to do it there so I guess the next thing we can do is go ahead and throw the rest of these little uh, walls in let's see I'll go ahead and put this back like this okay so we'll go shift W and I'll put this in left click left click left click Beautiful, shift W, left click, bring it up here. Now in this case, I'm gonna to have to hit the escape key because I didn't have, I wasn't running into a wall. If I run into a wall, it'll automatically shut it off for me. But so we'll go shift W and we'll put this little piece of a wall in. Okay, that's great. Now we've got to do a couple of last things. We'll throw another door here. So we'll do the D for the door, drop it right there. Looks good. And let's throw, just to, in case you don't know about this, see the vanity in the bathtub and all this we can come over to symbols and scroll down to in this case we're in plumbing we go down to the bath vanity click the bath vanity what i'm going to do is i just left clicked once now i'm going to hit the tab i'm not clicking the buttons right now i'm going to drag this in drop it in there we go and if it's if you want to make it the exact size we could bring it in a little like so and bring it in there we go looks looks fine perfect whatever Want to throw a bathtub in here? We could do the same. Symbol, bath shower, bathtub, corner bath. So we have all these great options. Let's just do a bathtub, bath shower. There we go. Perfect. Where'd you go, bath shower? Dropped it down here, did it? All right, bath shower. I know that's not actually a bath shower, but that's okay. We're just gonna leave it. So I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. Just wanted to show you something real quick there. There you go. Now, if you don't if you don't know much about these, I'll put a card up here in the right corner with a video link to directly to the one that goes really in deep how how to deal with all those and how to adjust the settings and everything. So because you'll want to adjust the properties that way when you're putting tile or whatever in this bathroom, it will not account for that. You would end up going in, hit the properties, subtract for the the hole underneath it. That's what you would normally want to do. So that's good. Let's see if there's anything else. That all looks pretty good. So let's go now to the roof where we'll get into basically the same principle. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab a roof. There's one thing we'll need to do to prepare, and that's to go out to Google Earth or someplace like that and get an overview picture of the roof. It's a fairly decent quality. That way we can use it as our template to draw upon. So what I've done is I went out and just used Google Earth. I grabbed a picture of the roof of the one I was using. And next, what you want to make sure you do, one thing very important, is to make it as square as possible so that when you put it on here, it, it's easy to use because if you don't, you got problems. So what I did in the case of this one, I imported it, but it was a little off. So I just took it into my uh, photo editing software and I just turned it a little bit and if you don't know how to do that I'll, I'll make a video down the road just to show how to do that it'd be a super quick one just to kind of show how to how to square up a picture so that it works perfect so what we're gonna do is hit the import what I'll do in fact I'll show you here's a quick look at exactly what I'm talking about you can see that the it's not exactly square with with the world in this case I went in and I chopped that off so it would be so there we go now I'm just gonna hit this one hit open and we're going to need to know a, one of these variables here. So I, I measured this one here, happens to be 30 feet even. I just click on that corner and I'm not drag, I'm just uh, single click. I'm going to come down and single click again. There we go. This one's 30 feet. Hit OK. Now we have that as our starting place. I'm going to bring this down a bit. Space bar, bring that down. So now this is super simple. You can see this is an obvious hip rough. So what we'll do, at least hopefully you can see that. So what we'll do is I'll hit the R, I mean the F key for the roof. 
I'm gonna hit the tab key. Wait a minute, shift tab. I need to hit the space bar. Get up. There we go. There's a hip. I will just put it up here on this corner, left click and drag it down to this corner. There we go. And you can see if I left click directly on it, it kind of lets you see and you can line it up a little better if you want or whatever, but that's lined up pretty darn good. No big deal. This wasn't actually a default. This was five pitch. So let's go ahead and drop this down to all slopes or five pitch. There we go. And we'll look again. Still looks good. All right, perfect. Now we can work our way up here. Click the tools tab. What we'll do is we'll throw a quick gable rough on here. I'll do this. There's a few ways to do it. I'll do it one of my favorites, which is hit the break tool. That way you can line it up exactly with it. And then we'll take hit the control key and then drag this down to where it lines up about right. Perfect, except this is a hip and not a gable. So all we have to do is click on here, come and change the properties to be a gable instead of a hip. Simple, easy peasy. There we go. That looks about right. Now we've got, let me show you real quick, we've got this little tiny gable sitting over here on the right bottom. So what we want to do is, there's a couple options. We could do the same thing, make control Z, I slip, make that move. We could do two things. We could do the exact same thing we did here, or we could just take a small gable and throw it on there. Um, let's try, we'll do the other one just so we have one of each. So we hit the roof, and what I'll do is hit the tab key to tab this around. And what I'll do is I'll drop this right on here. And you can see it's almost right, but since this was a default four pitch and that's five, when I come in here and change this to a five pitch, I'm guessing it's gonna line up about right. We have five, perfect. Now let me take a quick look. Actually, what we can do is we can take the whole thing and highlight it and then drag it. Well, we don't have to drag it. We can just make it take a look at it. Yes, that looks pretty darn close. That's really close. All right, perfect. Now, once we've got it all done, we can come in, right click on the, and delete underlay, and there you go. Now we have the roof, it was fairly quick. Had I not been talking, I could have done this in, in no time flat. So there you go, so there's a, a quick example of how to do that. Hopefully you have found a few tricks in here to help you speed up your process and get you a little better at Sketch. I hope it helped, you have a good day. we will see you on the next one. Adjusterpedia.com